time for our biggest unboxing yet by far, Samsung's 85 inch UHD S9 television. You know the one with the easel? Yeah, it's right here. It's pretty big. All right, bring it in here. I'm sure you would have no problem finding some living room space for this. Okay. Stop here. Whoa. Oh, okay. So this box has the one connect. So this is what they call the jack pack, which is basically a standalone box that connects to the back of the TV and has all the inputs in it. Oh, our 3D glasses, four sets. TV accessories. Oh, this is the smart touch control. So it has, look at this, it's got like a little, but this is your little navigation pad here. This is so exciting. You know how like I've been all excited about Samsung's like eco packaging? This is not that. Okay, this is the panel where the One Connect box goes. So that's basically the heart and soul and brain of the TV. So you got one end that plugs into the television. Okay, this guy, One Connect. Okay, and then this already starts to make your TV look uglier. Let's cover it up. So that's about all the setup that I am gonna do. I'm gonna call in the experts to finish off the rest while I do the specs. This 4K TV screen is a whopping 85 inches, which is why it comes with its very own easel stand so that you don't have to wall mount it and you can tilt it up or down. It features Samsung's new Smart Hub software with built-in voice and motion control, plus a built-in pop-up camera. It's powered by a quad-core processor so you can actually do nice, fast web browsing on it. The display is ultra high definition 4K. So it's 4096 by 2160p resolution. That is compared to 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. It's four times the resolution. And when you have 4K content, it looks amazing. Upscaling also reportedly looks amazing from either standard def or from Blu-ray. This TV has built-in Wi-Fi and four HDMI connections, plus three USB ports. It comes with a powerful built-in sound system. It's built right into the easel frame. It's Dolby and DTS premium sound. It also includes a smart touch remote control and four pairs of 3D glasses. The TV has motion control and the feature lets me navigate through screens and pinch to zoom in pictures. Oh, I did it. I have to admit though, I'm never gonna do that except to show off. Plus, my arms got tired. Now, in case you're worried about any of this technology going out of style since it's built into a really heavy easel, the S9 includes upgrades free for at least a year, if not more. Those may include software upgrades to accommodate future 4K hardware requirements or even processor updates. With the stand, the S9 weighs 189 pounds and the total cost is $39,999.99. For more information on the S9, go check out our editor's take at CNET.com. All right, let's talk about picture quality for a little while. So this is Blu-ray content. It's being upscaled to something close to 4K and it's like the fancy Blu-ray demo reel to make it look as good as possible. So we're gonna watch a little bit of this and then we're gonna plug in some 4K content because now I know the big complaint about 4K is that there's not very much content available, but we're gonna at least look at it and see if we can see the difference. Okay, look at this. You can see this detail kind of all the way here at the bottom. Like you can actually see pedestrians right here. A little 3D effect from how kind of weirdly real it looks. You can see individual cars on the road here. Look at this detail. I mean, I've heard people say that you can't see the difference between HD and 4K, and I'm sorry, I'm here to tell you that I think that's ludicrous. And I'm sad to say that you will not be able to see the difference when you're watching this at home because you don't have a 4K display. But just take my word for it, this looks amazing. Trust me. All right, we've seen the 4K content. We've seen the upscaled Blu-ray content. Both of those looked 
amazing. Now it's time to check out the upscaling on some web-based content. Now we're streaming always on because we don't want to get sued over ethernet. So the video quality should be decent. Let's see how the upscaling can do. Yeah, that's a little noisy. I mean, granted, we can chalk some of that up to streaming, but I'm just saying, you got this thing. You want to stream some content from YouTube. It's almost like a little bit of a drawback that it's so big. All that said, this particular television is not for anyone to actually buy. It cost $40,000 and they only made 250 of them. It's for rich people and Saudi Arabian princes. But the S9 series is accessible to mere mortals. There's a 65 inch version, a 55 inch version, and they're kind of just a look at the future of 4K TVs. And make no mistake, in five or 10 years, you're all gonna have one.